Listen, when it comes to weight loss, unfortunately, women get the short end of the stick. It's definitely harder for women to lose weight. In fact, women have been hardwired to not lose weight. And no matter how cheesy what I'm about to tell you sounds, it all makes perfect sense if we stop and think about it. Let me explain. It all stems back to the hunter-gatherer days of our ancestors. Men weren't built for fat storage at all. Men were built to be lean and fast to hunt food. How men can even accumulate fat at all goes completely against our genetics. On the other hand, women were built for fat storage to be able to survive and care for children during famine. Their essential minimal fat stores are many times higher than men. Women were built to accumulate as much fat as possible and to not lose those accumulations for childbirth, milk production, and child rearing. Now, unfortunately, we've been built to survive, not to look good. Women have a couple of major fat-storing roadblocks that hold them back. First of all, women's fat cells are bigger and have more fat-storing enzymes in them. Men's fat cells have more fat-burning enzymes and are much smaller. Women honestly do have a lot more working against them which is why the steps I'll be outlining in this presentation work so well. Second, estrogen multiplies fat-storing enzymes, making them gain weight around their butt and thighs like it's an Olympic event. Darn those childbirth genetics. Third, crash dieting. It puts our bodies instantly into starvation mode, reducing fat-burning enzymes by up to 50%. Our bodies literally freak out. So not only do we tend to lose muscle mass when crash dieting, but our fat-burning enzymes can decrease. Yikes! This should help you understand why it's harder for gals to lose weight. So, is it actually possible to overcome these silly genetics? Well, I've got some great news. You can, and I'm about to share with you one simple tip that can instantly boost your fat loss. Guaranteed. Knowing what I'm about to share with you will make you realize why the popular, well-known, so-called diet programs simply don't work long-term. Mega-rich weight loss companies make money off of people like you and I by selling us stuff that leads to, at best, temporary results. But here's the thing. We don't need them and their expensive weight loss gimmicks to lose weight. What I'm about to share with you is key to actually being able to eat some bad foods and still burn fat.